Okay, so good morning. So welcome to the session on the basic neuroanatomy lesson circle of Willis. But this purpose is actually we go through with uh, review the structures so that you will be able to connect to the clinical presentation stroke. Later on, you will identify that the body or the skull or the head, whether on the lateral, posterior, or frontal, we can imagine that so that we, you will be able to understand the circle of Willis. So allow me to use the screen now. So basically, I would label circle of Willis. So we're coming up with a circle figure, but let's label Willis as a male patient or a male person. So being human being, therefore, meron siyang paa. So I will draw first the paa. Yan. Because Willie na buhay dun sa panahon ng mga may mga sapatos na may palawit, may mga tassel. So I would put temporary yung shoes na ganyan na may palawit kunyari. So that would be now your legs. Medyo stick lang natin gagamitin. Dahil si Willie ay isang lalaki, so lalagyan natin siya ng representation as a male person. So that would be your representation for male. And then dahil lalaki nga siya, so we would imagine na nagsuot siya ng belt. And the belt that is wearing has a lower part and the upper part. We will label this later, guys. So I want you to listen to the story. And then dahil tao nga siya, we'll put the body, the trunk. And what is prominent in the person when when the person gets thinner, naging kakektik, nakikita natin palagi, sinasabi natin, no ba yan? Butot balat na lang, so may ribs na siya. So there are four pairs, no? So that would be your representation of the ribs. Guys, dahil tao nga siya, so we'll remember, meron din siyang shoulder na ganyan. So dalawa yon, may upper and yan. Okay, so ganyan siya, di ba? Teka muna. Parang kailangan kong i-erase lang to. Yan. Okay, so then sabi natin, meron siyang tinatawag na mukha dapat. And that's where the circle comes in. So simulan muna natin, if you are imagining your shape, no, the mukha, pag ganyan siya dapat, ganun yung mabubuo natin. So you will have start with the middle part, which is the eye. Yan. And definitely it will have a branch to form the superior boundary. Yan. Ako mali ang aking ano. Nisla pantay. And then you have the, remember the boundary. You have the jawline there. Yan. Yan. Dahil si Willie, medyo may katandaan na, kaya nakakasalamin na siya. So meron siyang salamin. Right? So, para magiging kompleto siya, lagyan natin ng mukha. So, lalagyan natin siya ng ilong at lalagyan natin ng bibig. Di ba? Nagmukha na siyang tao. Talaga namang siya na si Circle of Wheelie. And then, lagyan natin siya dito ng parang antenna. Okay. So guys, let's la label them as it is. So the two legs actually will be your vertebral artery. And the vertebral artery is actually fused together or joined together, okay, and forming now what we call the basilar artery. So our basilar body. So that's the body of natin ang arrow. Nakin ang arrow na to. Yan. Okay. And then, itong sinasabi ko dito na sa iba ba, na parang tassel, that would be your, what they call that guys? So that would be your haba eh. Pero 
gawin natin, posterior, inferior, cerebellar, artery. Okay? So, that would be your pica na tinatawag natin. Next is actually your Ano ba yung ito? So you do have your ICA but would level its first internal. Sometimes they called it labyrinthine or auditory. Tama ba yung spelling natin? Labyrinthine. Artery. So that's your upper part. To yan, to yan. And of course, you do have your, kung may pie ka, meron din tinatawag na pie ka. So anterior, cerebellar, that's always the counterpart. no? Anterior, inferior, cerebellar artery. So you would find out later by why it's called inferior. You have to understand again, guys, this is one uh, term or one clue you name the artery based on the organ that it supplies. And the, the location relative to, that's why you do have inferior, posterior, anterior. So it's relative to the organ that is being supplied. Yan. So medyo kompleto na tayo. And the next is actually, ano yung ribs na yan? The ribs are actually your pontine arteries okay as the name implies no so we will plot them later on now let's move to this one parang kulang yung aking kamay niya dito so dapat meron yang ano si magba branch to it let me just add one more which is supposed to be your posterior okay so first you do have Sabi natin, merong inferior kaya dapat merong superior. Cerebellar artery. Yan. And of course, your posterior cerebral. Yan. So we have now completed this component. Later on, you will understand why they are named as such because of the location. So again, this is your superior cerebellar. This is your posterior cerebral. So nag-overlap siya. I don't want it that way. So so if you do have question clarification, don't forget to write your on the use the chat box rather. Okay, so let me move now. So if you are going to correlate this, these structures actually supplies the posterior part of, of the brain. So this one would be your okay, would be part of your or supplying the posterior part of the brain. So that's why there is a term later on if you're going to apply it in stroke. So posterior circulation stroke. So in the future, in your readings, if you encounter posterior circulation stroke, they are referring to these arteries. These are group of arteries that supplies the posterior part of the brain. We will plot it. I will plot it later on so that you will, you will imagine it. So the next part that we're going to understand is the anterior component. And this is your, what we call now the supplying the anterior part of the brain. And we will label that at actually as anterior circulation stroke. Okay. So if not it, remember that the stroke is actually dependent on the areas of the brain it supplies. So let's label them now. So 
the one that is actually in the middle as the eye is actually your internal carotid artery. So internal carotid artery. Okay? And that would be the eye. Nakikita ninyo dyan. So ito siya. Okay? Now, the internal carotid artery will branch out into what we call the middle cerebral artery, which is not part of the circle of Willis. So we'll explain later, middle cerebral artery. So ito siya, yung salamin, yung, spec, yung hand or yung holder ng mismong eyeglass. And then, of course, you have your anterior cerebral artery. And that would be here. Ayan. So take note that the, if you have noticed the anterior and the posterior, they need to be connected to each other. And that's why there is what we call a anterior communicating artery. ACOM, as they call it. And that would be now your... Yeah, and that one. Tapos meron pa yan dito. Let me erase that. Meron yan dito. And communicating. And then, of course, you do have your posterior. And this one will be your posterior. Communicating artery. This one. Okay, so let me add you further, other than the circle of wheelies, what are the visible cranial nerves that you can observe? So the cranial nerve that can be observed is actually on this side between this anterior, anterior cerebral artery, there is a first cranial nerve there. That is your, oops, your olfactory. Next is actually over here, you do have your closer to the internal carotid artery is the cranial nerve 2, which actually becomes your optic nerve and the op branch to optic nerve is actually from the internal carotid artery. And between the posterior cerebral and posterior cerebral is actually your cranial nerve 3 and cranial nerve 4. And of course, the one that is at the level of the spontine arteries will be your cranial nerve 5. Okay, so that's the structure that we need to, you know, try to understand, remember. And definitely, I'll stop there for the meantime. So, take a look. Okay. Okay, guys. So, this is uh, once again the part 2. So we're done with the circle of Willis. We'll move now to the stroke presentation. Now, the stroke presentation is how do we define stroke? Bar? We said that stroke is it? Stroke is actually your sudden wedding. It's actually not sudden. Define mo na natin ang stroke. Or sometimes we call it cerebro, vascular. Disease or CVD na siya. Dati kasi sinasabi itong cerebrovascular accident. Eh kailan di naman na-accidente. Kaya na, nabuo na yung concept ng 
what we call your TBI kasi that's to signify nga to differentiate cerebrovascular disease from the cerebrovascular accident. Okay. So, pag sinabi nating stroke cerebrovascular, that means it involves blood vessel, guys. So, it is actually therefore vascular uh, in etiology. Okay. So, we said that it could be may nagbara. So, there is infarct or there is what we call thrombosis na lang. And let me know the spelling, thrombosis. Okay. So, familiar pa ba? Pag sinabi natin thrombosis sa Tagalog, clot. So, it is an intravascular clot formation. Intravascular clot formation. Yan. And then you will encounter the term embolism. So when you say thrombosis, yung sobrang dami na napag-aralan yung risk factor for stroke, one of which is cholesterol. Guys, eating too much cholesterol would lead to clot formation. And if there is clot formation, it will block the arteries in the brain, on the legs, on the heart, or any body, any blood vessel for what, for what it ever it really block it, no? And then embolism is actually dislodge. Okay, dislodge thrombus. So yung namuong clot or namuong thrombus, it would actually be uh, dislodge from the attachment. So for example, from the heart, there is coronary arteries. O kaya from the aorta, there is thrombus there. And it was dislodged and it would travel farther actually for the distant organ. And that's why in history taking, you will ask your patient kung meron bang history ng heart disease. Because from the heart disease, you will already understand why this happened to your patient. Okay. Now for us to understand stroke and connect now to the circle of Willis, we will try to Burahin ko muna yan. We will try to draw. Okay, so let me draw now again another drawing tayo. Imagine the lateral surface of the brain. So the lateral surface of the brain will go like this. Yan, ang ganda yan. So my drawing is internationally acclaimed. <laughs> Okay, so that's the lateral surface of the brain, guys. So you have to imagine it. So that's the lateral surface of the brain. So if that is the lateral surface of the brain, ano makikita natin dyan na structure? So you have now what we call the, remember, the Broadman's area. Okay, so you have now the area here. So, for example, this is portion na to is the anterior part of the brain. This is the posterior part of the brain. This is only the, what we call the cerebrum. Okay, so cerebrum yan. So, what are the Broadman's area that you've learned so far? Here, you do have your area four. Tignan natin dito. Area four. And then you do have your Area 3, 1, 2. Right? And then, I will give you the clue later on. For the speech area, you do have 4, 4. And you do have the area here. Parang nagmamap ka lang. No? 2, 2. And you do have at the back, you do have your, your 17. Okay? So, let's settle for that. For that particular Dudugtong na natin to para umabot doon. Ay, teka lang. Medyo. So, and then you do have your continuation lang natin to. Yan. Okay. So guys, eto na. Ipaplat na natin tong drawing natin para maintindihan natin. So, 
Itong circle of willis, tandaan nyo, pahigain natin siya. So here, you do have your... Okay, change the color. So here, you do have your... Yan, the internal carotid artery. So we said that the internal carotid artery will branch laterally that one supplying the area so you do have the little supply to the 44 you have the little supply to the 4 supply to 312 and you have the supply for your area 22 right so it's easy to remember now it's plotting here just imagine here your internal carotid artery will branch out laterally supplying just imagine your hand so you have the area you have the anterior part, you have the four, you have the 22, and at the back. So that would be the way to apply it on the human body. Now take note that the internal carotid artery will supply anteriorly, and this would go to the medial surface of the brain. So magpe-penetrate yan dyan. Yan. Okay. So, magtatagpo yan sila actually. Yung mga watershed areas na tinatawag. Yan. So, that is now your anterior cerebral artery. Now, take note that this is your temporal lobe. It also supplied by your middle cerebral. But you take note, you do have area 17 there. And what we have learned, it is actually supplied by what? your posterior cerebral artery. But before I will draw that, I will draw first the structure of the brain stem. So allow me to draw now the brain stem first. You do have your midbrain, and then you do have the pons, and you do have the medulla oblongata, and then you do have your spinal cord. So buuin lang natin. So meron kang fourth ventricle, then you do have your, and then taper off as a spinal cord. Now allow me to draw naman the other, which is actually your cerebellum. So naka-overlap yung cerebellum dito guys. Para maintindihan natin. Wow, that's the way to, that's the way to go for it. no? So. Let's move now to what we call the application of your blood vessel. Okay, so let me change the font for the posterior circulation. Notice that this area is actually your anterior part. So I will draw the line later on. But before that, allow me to draw here. We said that you do have your vertebral artery. Right? Di ba magiging basilar artery and what give branch to your pons? So ilan yan? Four pairs. That would be now your pontine arteries. Now, you do have your superior cerebellar. So let me use another color. Okay? So you do have here Papunta doon, which is actually your superior cerebellar artery because it supplies the superior part of the cerebellum. And then you do have your posterior cerebral artery that supplies the occipital lobe where the 17 is, Broadman's area 17 is located. Right? Now you can relate it already that the naming is relative to the location and to the name of the organs. Okay, so let me go through. You do have here the branches for the internal labyrinthine, but I'd like to emphasize the anterior inferior. Okay, so you do have your anterior inferior, yeah, that one. And here you have one branch, right? You do have your posterior inferior cerebellar that goes to 
here. We do have the portion na yan. So look at it. By essence, is posterior pero inferior. The other one is anterior pero inferior part. So we're going to understand it better because you're able to divide it now into your anterior and posterior circulation stroke and divide also the component of this one, which is superior and inferior cerebellum. Oops. Okay, so again, we will be connecting it now. That's why there is what we call a posterior communicating. So, dudugtong natin yan. Dugtong siya doon. Yan. That becomes your posterior communicating artery. Okay. So, let me run down again because I do it on the reverse manner. So, from our illustration, you do have the green one there that would be your vertebral artery, it will branch out into posterior inferior. It means that the posterior part of the cerebellum inferiorly is being supplied by that. And then another branch before it would, after becoming it a pontin art, or basilar artery, your anterior inferior. It's actually supplying now your inferior part, but it's the anterior component of the cerebellum. And of course, it would become your basilar artery supplying the pons now for pairs. Okay, it names pon, pin, kaya pons. And then you do have the superior cerebellum which supplies by the superior cerebellar artery and more anterior to that is posterior cerebral artery that supplies the occipital lobe. Guys, this is now what you call the portion of So this is now what you call the posterior circulation stroke. By location, we do understood it already. Ayan. And this one naman will be contribute to your anterior circulation stroke. And the anterior circulation stroke will consist of your middle cerebral artery, your anterior cerebral artery, your internal carotid artery. While on your posterior circulation stroke, that involves your, what we call your lock-in syndrome. You have your, yung mga Millard gobbler. Yung mga pangalan lang to, pero para maintindihan nyo, they are located to the posterior part of the brain. And you do have your, ano pa ba yun? Wallenberg syndrome. And you do have the Milak in syndrome, Miller Gobbler, Saka Benedict syndrome. I'm not sure kung yan yung spelling ni Benedict. Yan. So you have that Benedict syndrome. Okay. Let me just complete this. 